Okay, this is a bonus video, extra little video for our uh, um, bash, um, where are we doing? Brace expansions. Um, and uh, a viewer uh, commented on my one of my videos. Uh, his name is Mr. Rasmus Beck. So that's his name right there. I want to thank him for the first part of this uh, little bonus video. And that is, in a previous tutorial, I showed you how you could do echo. And then inside uh, braces, you can do Mike, Tom, John, and add an apostrophe S using a backslash to signify that this single quote is a uh, not being used as a special character in this case. And I hit that, and you see you get Mike's, Tom's, John's. Uh, that's great, but it's possessive. What are they owning? And I tried in the previous tutorial doing house, but here you get Mike's, Tom's, John's house. But really, I want to say Mike's house, Tom's house, John's house. Well, how do we do this? And he showed me very simply, and I should have thought of this, using a backslash like so before the space before house signifies that you're just continuing, basically combining this next string into uh, this string here. So normally it would see this as like a whole new string basically, where here we're combining it. So now if we hit enter, you can see Mike's house, Tom's house, John's house, maybe put a period to make it a little more broken up there. But I wanted to take that one step further and I was like, well, I wanna add a new line to each of those. So what I tried doing was I did backslash n, and that didn't work, I got an n, and that's because uh, I want to put these in quotations here, but still, I'm still getting a backslash n, and that's due to, um, uh, we have to say dash e for echo. Uh, in certain cases, I, from what I've read, it depends on uh, what version of echo you're running, uh, just so that it accepts this, this uh, backslash n as a new line character. But if we hit enter at this point, you'll notice that we get an extra little space uh, after on the second two lines. Um, isn't the end of the world, but we could do better. So how can we remove that extra uh, space there? And I found something simple. It's probably like a basic bash, um, you know, echo, uh, um, you know, thing to do, but something I was unaware of. And, um, we all know that backslash n means new line, but if we do backslash b, that's actually like doing a backspace. So if we add backslash b to the beginning of this, and it has to be in quotations, we'll hit enter. It basically does a backspace before each line, removing that extra space. So here, simply, we've got echo dash e, and then parentheses are backslash b, our brace expansion here, what we want to extend onto the end of that, and then another little string here in quotations for our new line. Um, this is a lot shorter than how I would have done it in the past, where I would have done like a for loop, and basically it would have been like three or four lines, basically taking everything inside our brace expansion here, put it into a for loop and echo out each line in the loop. Here, saves a little space, and uh, we learned some new little tricks here. Uh, especially this little uh, backspace symbol here. So, uh, I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little bonus video. I thank Mr. Rasmus Beck for bringing my attention to using this backslash to connect this space and house to uh, our previous string. And I hope that you all have a great day.